Good afternoon and Happy New Year's, Wolfpack. I'm Quentin Lespino. And I'm Damon Ramos. Today is Wednesday, January 4th, and we are here with your daily announcements. The COHS Counseling Department, along with Cal Soap, will be hosting a Cash for College workshop to assist seniors on completing their financial aid application. The Cash for College workshop will be held on January 19th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the COHS Career Center. It's located in Student Services. If you had a 3.75 GPA or above and you did not get an academic pin in December, drop by the leadership room right outside the MP room to come pick it up. Now, let's pass it on over to Ethan and Nisha for entertainment. Hello, Wolfpack, and welcome to your weekly dose of entertainment. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Ethan Newman. Now, let's ask, how was your break? Oh, my break was kind of good. I went to San Ramon, and I got sack anime tickets as a Christmas gift. Uh, I will be going this weekend in cosplay as Kobeni from Chainsaw Man. Nice how was yours? It's pretty good. I mostly spent time with my family. I watched the new Knives Out uh, Glass Onion movie. Oh, how was that? It's pretty good. I like, it was like comedy mostly, and the twist was crazy. But I feel like you need to watch it multiple times in order to really enjoy it. Well, I'll definitely have to watch it. But now that it's the new year, there's going to be a lot of new releases that we'll, that we'll both be looking forward to. Like the Barbie movie that's coming out this July. You like Barbie? Of course I do. Uh, it's amazing. You don't? Uh, okay, I, I do like Barbie, but okay, anyways. Some new releases like Magic Mike's Last Dance, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Sherlock Holmes 3, Creed 3, and AOT Season Part... Season 4, Part 3 are some popular shows and movies coming out later this year that we'll be, be sure to keep y'all updated on. I'm definitely going to watch Magic Mike. Yum, yum. He's going to be looking delicious. Speaking of magic, you're a wizard, Nisha. What are you talking about? Well, you can be on this February 7th because Hogwarts Legacy is coming out on all platforms. This particular game takes place in the 1800s and you're tasked with saving the school from a certain evil. And you know, I'm curious as to how the school is still running. Like, there's always a curse or something on that place. I'm surprised they haven't gotten a child endangerment lawsuit yet, but we're out of time. I'm Nisha Siamra. And I'm Ethan Newman. See, See you all. guys next week. Thank you, Ethan and Nisha. And I can't wait for the new Hogwarts Legacy game. I'm a Southern myself. Hey, all you freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. You're invited to attend the 2023 AP Information Night being held through Zoom on January 12th. The Zoom meeting will provide you with information about many of the AP courses being held next year, and we highly recommend that you attend. More knowledge can't hurt. Softball players, conditioning is starting from Monday to Friday of next week from 4 to 5.30 p.m. They will be meeting in the weight room, and make sure to bring your running shoes, workout clothes, and some water. You know what time it is. Let's see what Darren and Jonah have to say about sports this week. What's up, Wolfpack? Happy New Year. I hope it was a great break. Yeah, I for one had a good break. I went to San Diego, had some good food, and slept a lot. Oh man, I wish that was me. I just got flooded in. Well, let's just get into it. I'm Darren Francis, and he's Jonah Mercado. What's going on in the world of sports? Well, Darren, we've had a lot of things happen. Firstly, a recap of soccer. The World Cup wrapped up over break, and a lot happened. Argentina won first place over France, and Lionel Messi finally got that World Cup achievement. I gotta say, Darren, it, was, it sure was a nail-biter for both teams going back and forth for a tied score of 3-3. Three to three. Finally, though, Argentina snuck away with a victory after a 4-2 goal shootout competition. In more saddening, saddening news, soccer legend Pele died last Thursday at the age of 82 years old. He was widely regarded as one of, if not the greatest football player of all time, winning three World Cups, and our hearts go out to all of his family, friends, and the hearts he touched. Moving to NFL news, I am a sad fan today, Jonah. The Raiders lost their game against the 49ers 37-34, knocking us out of the playoffs. But that does mean the nine-game win streak for the 49ers continue. Another exciting game, Rams v. Chargers, led to a win for the Chargers 31-10 in the battle for L.A. Justin Herbert reigned supreme. Tragically, DeMar Hamlin of the Buffalo Bills suffered a cardiac arrest, arrest during their game with the Broncos in the first quarter. Hopefully he makes a recovery. In school sports news, briefly, our boys soccer team is in for a 3-2-2 record right now. Girls soccer is 4-4 right now, however, girls basketball is 11-2. Way to go! Recently, they won their tournament at Northgate High School. Well, that's all for now. I'm Jonah, he's Darren. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. 
Thank you for the sports update, Darren and Jonah. Today, our cheer program is hosting a fundraiser at the Smash Burger on Laguna from 11 to 9 p.m. Come out and support our cheer program by ordering online. Well, that's all for today, Wolfpack. I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Quentin Lespino. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Spaghetti, Spaghetti Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.